There's one detail that makes a huge difference in the public realm, and that detail is the humble street tree. Landscape architect Henry Arnold once said, 50% of urban design is street trees. On a tree-lined street, look up. The canopy forms the ceiling of our shared public room. Arnold wrote, an urban street without street trees is like a building without a roof. Line them up and something really magic happens with street trees. A tree-lined street is a deliberate intervention, an ordering of the public space, a kind of statement in the common human language of geometry. It never fails to make a place where more people want to be. But street trees are not just about making the place more beautiful and lending order, but also shading our walks and bike rides. They can lower the urban heat island effect by as much as three to seven degrees Fahrenheit. They make the city more economically potent. Two identical houses in otherwise similar neighborhoods will have wildly different values if one is on a tree-lined street and the other isn't. They hold storm water and they clean up pollution. Critically, street trees sponge up carbon dioxide, a key greenhouse gas tied to global warming, and then they make oxygen and we breathe that stuff. In summer, trees shade the buildings and that lowers cooling costs by as much as 35%. And they cut glare, leaving a delightful pattern of dappled light on our streets. Flowering trees and autumn leaves put on spectacular annual shows, drawing us to these places. And in winter, in temperate climates, deciduous trees lose their leaves to let light in to warm the sidewalks and buildings. One more, they keep us safer, calming traffic. Street trees are not just a decorative frill, something to be cut when the budget is tight. They're mission critical equipment to making good, resilient cities and towns. And they're number 10 on my list of town planning stuff everyone needs to know. For more information, check out my TEDx talk it's kind of a love poem to street trees. And also read what John Massengale and I wrote about the seven roles of the urban street tree in street design, the secret to great cities and towns. And of course, read Henry Arnold's classic, Trees in Urban Design.